Firstly, you can start by specifying the places of the main objects. This will guide you in complicated paintings such as the screen. We can visualize the whole painting beforehand. I start with the mostly orange sky. I am adding multiple layers to give depth and create richness. Also, I'm adding light yellow and a little bit of blue. I'm using red in some places to emphasize the contrast. You should keep adding light yellow, light orange and the blue color which we created by mixing it with green. The painting will look much more complete as you keep applying various colors. Don't forget to paint the white wavy lines at the end. You should focus on small areas when working with acrylics because it dries fast. So, we'll continue with the underneath of the sky. For that area, we'll use dark blue. Some black will be enough. For the part in the middle, we'll use yellow and light blue. Then, you should emphasize the great wave in the right side of the painting. I'm using most of the shades of blue and orange. Then, we'll add black to the darker areas in the original painting. For the last touch, I add white thin lines. We'll move to the part where our figure is standing. I'll hold my brush slightly bent to work in this area. This will create the cross lines in the floor. I'm using light orange and blue to form the base.
you should make a sharp transition between orange, black and white in the bars. Don't try to mix the colors. Don't try to make perfectly the two little people at the back. Since they are blurred in the painting, you shouldn't have to be too careful. I'm adding dark yellow and green to the floor. Finally, we can make our human figure. I'm using dark yellow and green for the skin and dark blue for the clothing. I'm adding light orange and white spots for the face. Once you completed the small details around face and hands, you are done.